The next stage of the plan will require the townspeople to be evacuated to a suitable... You? What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of Strength, blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. Okay, I get it. She's one stone-cold, badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia, this is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters. As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tanta Sila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. Can't stop thinking where Bob might have gotten to. Hey, that cat. You really do have the magic touch. I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh, yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey. It's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh, yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. There was 
was a dear, sweet young girl. Used to come here, you know. Name of Olivia. <laughs> Such a bright spark. A real breath of fresh air she was. And then... Mm. Why, Tante Zyla? Why? Hey, children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children of Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them, no, they will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She at least was kind enough to listen. Had I'd only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, Frey. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. Thank <laughs> you. 